Hey, what's everybody? Lucky with Big League. Uh, so today uh, we got a PSA reveal. Hunter card order just got back from Cali. <clears throat> There's the um, the box down there. Looks like they packed it up pretty good. Uh, interesting thing is about this order is um, I'll keep talking while I open up the box here. Is um, I got two orders, two bulk orders back before this one. <laughs> I I don't know why this one took so long. Um, I don't know. Maybe they were looking at it especially difficult. Maybe it got lost. Shoot, I don't know. But um, I had uh, I think since October. We've had two, we've had 100 card orders month after month um, submitted. And like I said, I got I got three orders back within like 60 days of each other. So I guess this one got hung up a little bit. So I, I think what that means, I didn't look at the order. You know, I, I like to do it blind just for the fun of it. Uh, I think what that means is uh, we should have a pretty decent amount of football in here. And what that also means I have no idea what was sent. <laughs> so let me uh, take the tape off these boxes and uh, we'll get to it. All right, guys, so uh, here we go. Um, interesting, it says Rush Dot. So um, there was definitely no rush on these, so maybe it was because it go that so backed up that there was a rush at the end. Um, we got six boxes here. The last box, it feels like nothing's in it, so we either got cards that were miscut, fakes, or something because they, they didn't get graded. It didn't feel like there was anything in them. Um, <clears throat> so we get the camera set here. Oh, I got to get the little holders. Um, let me know if you guys like that, uh, if you like the holders. We just want to pull the card and go to the next one. Um, I don't know. It kind of makes it easier for me, but if you guys don't like it, I'll switch it back up. Uh, so here we go. Box number one. Jam-packed. Yeah, this should be interesting, guys. Uh, let's see here. Oh, let's get the shadow. I don't like the shadow. Move this over. Alright, there we go. Uh, we're still going? Hang on. Oh yeah, there it is. It's just another thing I can't see it. So, sorry. Card one. Nice. Nice, nice. So, I've sent off two of these. And uh, I think I got... I think I got two nines. So, this is cool. This this set is pretty tough, guys. The uh, the surface... Man, it they just it's, it's rough to keep clean. And I want to say that this order would be the first one that I, with my, the depolishing technique that I kind of came up with. So, sorry about the glare there. There we go. Um, so, PSA 10 on the Saltuve. That's great. I'm really excited about that one. All right. Go start. Oh, put her up here. Okay. Uh, next. Bowman. So, I knew this wasn't going to be a 10. Um because it was off-centered, but the card was clean, the corners were great, so I said, hey, if it comes back a 9, I'll keep a 9, PC it at the most, or at the, at the worst, whatever, but, so here's the Bowman, uh, 89, 220, mint 9, it's, it's 60, 40, left to right, we were just a, a tad off, the top to bottom was spot on, the back was clean, so mint 9, so I'll, I'll take that one, that's what I was expecting with that card, that's what I wanted in that card, uh, looks like we got the other Griffey here, so this one, uh, kind of same does want an 8 or a 9, 8, right? So I knew the surface was clean, but it was just off-centered left to right pretty bad, and top to bottom was off. So I knew the centering was the issue here, but wanted to get it slabbed, you know what I mean? There's a lot of cards out there that are just, you, you can't tell what's going on there, trying to pawn them off or whatever, so I'm totally fine with his 8, because to be quite honest, ex expectation-wise, that's what I was that's what I was thinking. So that's cool. Really excited about that Altuve. Little junk wax going here. Uh, same thing with this one. I knew she was off left to right. You can tell by the baseballs out there. Um, hopefully everybody's following Elite Co. 3's advice that he gave years ago, which is you, you, the baseball should line up, right? Which would be about um, a, a full, a half, more than half of a baseball and a little bit more showing. So as you can see, you got like a third of a baseball and almost half of a baseball on the left. But other than that, this was packed fresh pulled. Um, the car looked good, so I wanted to get it slapped too, just as, as a Maddox rookie with the mustache. Gregory Allen Maddox. That's cool. So that's kind of like these were the tens that not are the non tens that I'm actually happy with. <laughs> I got here. This should be interesting. Nine. Um, this was pack pulled in 1987. That's no joke, guys. I uh, I've got four or five boxes of 87 uh, tops upstairs uh, that I pulled as a kid and just jammed them in a you know a 3200 you know uh, not a 3200 excuse me a five uh, I think it was a seven or 800 count storage box. I'm like, I'm going to go through this and see what I find. And this one looked pretty clean, so I sent it off. Mark McGuire. 
pack pulled in 1987. Uh, top straight to Kevin Mitchell. I, th I thought this one may be a little bit uh, thicker on the bottom. You can see it's pretty skinny right there underneath the Mets, or on top of the Mets. So mint nine on that one, but it's top straighted. That's cool. Back looks really good. The grading these older stuff, this retro stuff is, is really fun because it's more of a challenge. Um, so I, you know, I'm with it. I mean, I know it's not for everybody, right? Everybody, you know, some people just strictly do the new stuff and that's fine. Um, but, uh, you know, getting this old stuff, I actually got some retro boxes that I ordered today that uh, should be coming in, in, in next week. Seven. Oof. That was worse than I thought. Um, so it's pretty, pretty off cut, right? From the top to bottom. I was hoping to get an eight on this one, to be honest, but that it's just not looking at it now. It's just too far off top to bottom. So seven on this bonds traded. But these are clean though. Look at that. Here's another one. Uh, nine on this one. So you can see that, you know, if you compare the two cut wise, and that's the thing about this 86 set, man, it is tough. The traded ones are tough, real tough. It's got the black border on the top. They can chip, you know, if you breathe on it too hard. Um, if anything, this one is too much on top. See that bottom right there underneath the berry? Because left to right, it's spot on. This is a nice mint, uh, mint nine though. See that a little thicker on the back there versus the bottom? That's cool. Have fun with that stuff. I might get another 86 box, man. It's, it's pretty pricey right now. Uh, still continuing with the old stuff. Nine on the Strawberry Rookie. I had this set for a while. Decided to pull some stuff out and slob her out and see how she comes. So 84 Strawberry meant nine. And you kind of have to look at that as a border compared to that. So left to right is probably a little bit off. But card, surface-wise, and everything else. Look at, that. look at that gloss on there still, which is perfect. So mint nine on the strawberry eighty four. Jim mint ten. So, <laughs> you know, I I can't remember where I got the card, uh, but it's a SSPC. So look at the back. And I don't I don't know where the company came from, how they came from, or how I came about the card. But I got a couple of these. And uh, I found them in a box with my, my, you know, my, my kid stuff, my childhood stuff. And I said, man, this card looks really good. And if I look at the borders, this thing is spot on. So it's a 75, right? And it, you know, he's, he's in, you know, I don't know if these people are licensed or what, but he's, you know, he's, you can clearly see the uniform. It's a reverse. So maybe they got away with it because they use the reverse. But uh, 75, uh, Reggie Jackson. That's cool. All right. Uh, into some football here. Mahomes, uh, score, in a full draft. So I think I bought a box. I think I bought a retail box of score, the 36 pack one. And we just went through it and um, pulled out the Mahomes and maybe some other players. So that's cool. Maybe a couple of stacks over here. Uh, another one, Jim and 10. So kind of, like I said, this came out of the same box break. Uh, I can't remember if I posted the video on that one. I think I did. Uh, Patrick Mahomes, score, Ricky. Ten, fifteen tops Brady. This is the paper, but it is a Brady, and um, I picked up some nice Brady's. I think at the TriStar show, not this summer, but last fall. Oh no, it could have been early this year. It may have been. No, it was last summer. I think I picked up a bunch of Brady's, and um, I was looking at what was clean. Um, you know, they got the goat, so anything in a ten is sought after. Actually, done very well in the secondary market with, you know, years all the way from two thousand two to two thousand fifteen. So that's cool. Here's another Brady. 09 Bowman Chrome. That's sweet. Look at that shine right there. Man, that's a beautiful card. That's nice, man. <laughs> All right. Another Brady. 
This is the uh, Donner's Threads. Oh, six. I'm impressed because I guess my Ivy must be getting pretty good um, to have these older cards, you know, 12, 13 years old, um, getting tens. Nine on this. I remember I bought this, uh, out of, uh, I bought a blaster box. Just, I was going to get a prize for 15 prisms. I bought it. So mint nine. I think there may be a little surface scratch right on the right above the shoulder. I guess I must have missed that one. Sometimes I get a little lazy and uh, pull a card that's you know, right out of the pack. And like, it looks good. And I'll jam it in the sleeve and say, we'll send it off. You got to inspect them. Nothing comes out Jim and 10 out of a pack. Guaranteed. So I'm at 9 on that one. Breeze 8.5. Uh, this is uh, Vanguard. I was hoping for a 9 on this one. It looked pretty clean. But obviously it's a uh, Breeze rookie, so I wanted to get it slabbed. 8.5 on this Vanguard. Oh, I'm not putting them up here. Ugh, I knew I'd forget sometime. <laughs> All right, put that back in there. Put this one back in. Uh, this should be interesting. Nine. This pigskin, it, you know, it's in the shape of a football, right? So it's kind of like, well... Can you center a card like this? I don't know. I guess it's all about surface condition. Um, but it does have that little swatch in there, which I thought was kind of cool. And maybe the foil can be damaged. Uh, it's in the Mylar pouch. That's cool. Uh, Flair, Hot Prospects, Drew Brees, Pigskin with the jersey. Cool picture on the back, too. Looks pretty pretty good, though. And this Breeze. All right. Um, upper deck pros and prospects, future fame. Not bad. Nine on this. It's a tough set. I mean, it's it's foil. It's got the dark color all up the right side and the top. Not bad on that at all. Gold foil patch. That's really a really really nice card. Kind of like the Dynagon. I like the Dynagon better. Future fame. That's pretty good. I'll take that nine. Another breeze. Bowman 8, a tough set, man, just tough. Um, this one's off left to right and top to bottom, but I wanted to get it slabbed. Uh, the surface was great. The corners were tight. I mean, look at that corner. Sorry. I mean, these aren't pushed, touched at all. These are great corners. It's just centering. But when you're left, right, to, and top to bottom, it's going to come down. But uh, still a really, really cool card to have. That breeze. Uh, next box. Uh, nine. Nick Castellano. So I about to pick this up at a card show for a buck. Good player. Looks pretty clean too. Maybe I missed something on the surface. The centering doesn't look bad. Eh, maybe it's a little thick right to left. I see it now. Yep. More than I thought. Good player, though. 2012. Bowman. Uh, nine on this. Pete Alonzo. Hmm. I thought these were all really good. I could be honest, I was expecting tens on all of them, but, you know, what are you going to do? Someone's going to nice still in nine. I see it right there above the belt. A little smudge. So this, my Sally's most all this stuff is probably gonna go in the store. I don't know. I may PC some things, but midnight on this uh, Alonzo should be a couple of these. There's a ten. I thought I seen a refractor off in this set, or maybe I didn't. Make sure these guys didn't. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, Sixteen Bowman draft. Comb Alonzo Jim and ten. Gosh, I'm doing it again. Get up there, you. Uh, Robles. 
This is the refractor. Isn't it? I don't just pick up a bunch of shine. No, it isn't. That's a, it's the base version. It's just the, the light got me. So 16 uh, Bowman Chrome. Now what a set 16 Bowman Chrome was, huh? Mitchell Robles, that's, that's nice. I think I got a couple of these already. He's having a good year, too. Put that over there. Uh, another one, nine for Robles. There's the refractor. Cool. Ten. Look at that shine. That are four ninety nine. The refractors are. Uh, Taylor Trammell uh, paper. Ten on that one. Uh, another card, same set, same player, different grade, nine on this uh, Taylor Trammell. Uh, Walker Buehler, Bowman, 15, mint nine. Cole Tucker, or excuse me, Cole Tucker, Kyle Tucker, mint nine. He's had a good year, but man, he just struggles when they call him up, so... And plus, Jordan Alvarez is just destroying things, so he may be in AAA for another year or so, or he may up. I get a feeling he'll be the trade bait for pitcher for the Astros in the next within the next week. But it's the name of the game. Uh, Aaron Nola, fourteen Bowman Draft Chrome, Jim and ten. Uh, here's the paper. Ten. Same card, same set, same player. Or not same set, but you follow. A couple tens of the Nolas. Another one. Nine on this one. Man, the, I do I do great with the set on the Yelix, but the the Arenado's obviously getting nines. That's kind of weird. Uh, Harper, twelve Bowman Chrome, Jim and ten. It's a pretty cool card and set. He was an expensive free agent though. Hope the Phillies are happy with what they're getting. up a little bit and get that shot there we go um the x-fractor same card same set well not same set same player uh nine on this one uh jim Mint 10 on prospects that's cool this is bowman's this is bowman's best yeah on best prospects. I do like the card. It's got that full stuff in the background. Jim Mint 10, JD Martinez. 2011 Bowman Chrome prospects. That's nice. He was terrible when the Astros called him up. He just couldn't do nothing. But, hey, it worked out for him somewhere else, so that's good. Too bad it wasn't the Astros, but, hey, those things happen. Uh, Chris Davis. Uh, same set, same year. Nine on that one.
And another all two they. So that one came back in nine. I was yeah, I, I don't know. That one yeah, that was in there. These things come back all out of order. I put them in your order, but you know, when you do they don't come back that way. Uh next box. Box three. Really out of five. Uh, the last like I said, I think the last box just has uh, rejects in it or something. Tops Archives, uh, Cunha, Albies, and Gohara. Jim at 10. In the 81 style, that's cool. Eighteen uh, tops. I think it's series one, nine. For uh, Shohei. Seven, good gravy. Uh, Eighteen All Star. Why do you even send this off? I don't know, <laughs> but something's wrong with it. Yeah, nice, that's a stinker. I'm gonna put that up. I go somewhere else. Uh, Jim and Ten on the Jeter. That's cool. It was a Jeter, so I said, "Hey, what the heck? We'll send it off." So Jim and Ten on the '83 All Star insert. Uh, nine on this blue, Ozzy Smith. I thought I had a chance. But it's all blue, so it can chip pretty easy. Corners look good, though. The blue ones aren't numbered. Uh, here's a purple. Now, this is uh, Executive Assistance. Nine, uh, Nick Williams. It's a rookie purple. Purples are out of... Two ninety nine. Looks like it's bowling, huh? Full card. <clears throat> Trevor Larnark. Hmm. I don't remember sending this one off, but it's a refractor and came back at ten. So, hey, Trevor Larnark. 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 Jim at ten on this. Uh, 18 Bowman Prospects. Refractor. Cool. Uh, Jim and Tim is Rollis and Stevenson. I debated if I should send this one off or not because it's a two-player card, but I don't know. It just had a really clean look to it, and Robles looks even younger there than he actually is. <laughs> so, uh, Jim and Tim on this one. Top Heritage. Uh, Jim and Tin on the Jonathan India. So, highly shot after prospect for the Reds. Just the base card. There's another one. Same card, same year, same grade. I don't know what that up there. Same, same stuff. Um, Klinich. The refractor, Jim and Ten, and the Mets got man, they're a disaster right now. But they got some players, you know, with Alonzo, and then this kid comes up. I'm surprised, you know, I'm surprised they haven't called him up. But I guess they want to try to save some money. Um, they'll do him next year or the year after. I'm not sure what even what uh, level he's in right now. So that's the refractor. Uh, Tucker, this is Pop Top's pro debut. This one I still thought he was going to do something significant, but uh, he's still in AAA. Pro debut. Here's a Devers X Fracker. This was pulled out of a blaster, I think. I had it sitting in there and said, man, I get this off, which I'm glad I did because he's actually having a really good year. Devers. Uh, 
Albies. Albies. Acuna. Uh, 18 base chrome. Not the highly most sought after Acuna. It's it's kind of crazy how much the paper uh, update one is is going for right now compared to this card, which actually came out first. But that's why the hobby goes sometimes. Uh, a four. <laughs> wow. A four. I mean, it must be like you know. Wow, that's 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 a head scratcher. Um, I mean, I don't know, man. There must be like significant something on here that I missed for D to four for a eighteen chrome. <laughs> that's uh, the worst grade I've ever received, to be quite honest. Especially in a refractor. That's 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 crazy. Let's take a look at that one. Um, and there's a ten. What the? Heck? I look at these the same. I remember that. <laughs> so, okay. There is a refractor. Jim and 10. That's, that, that's kind of crazy. I don't really know what to say to that one. Uh, Royce Lewis. Bowman's best. It's kind of a cool looking insert. Jim and 10 on this one. Um, Bo Bichette. This is the mojo from last year. No, 17. Um, cool. Anthony Rendon. Just a paper. Uh, Bowman from 12. That's cool. He's a really good player, too. He's got the long hair now. Solid player. Oops. Jim and 10. And once again, Kyle Tucker. Sound off a lot of Kyle Tuckers. This is the 17 Bowman draft. Jim and 10. All right. Box number four. We're doing okay on time here. Uh, Soto, 300 card, Jim and 10. I think this is actually the executive assistance card, so that's cool. Should be happy about that. Shohei, Jim and 10. Red jersey, same card. Number one card, out of update. Another one, same year, same set, same grade. Shohei. There's Albies, um, Alan Jenner. This is Silver Glossy. That's cool. Jim and 10. There's Walker Bueller, Gypsy Queen, rookie. Jim and 10. Um, that's great. I didn't have this card yet. This is the only card that I haven't gotten a 10, I think, of all the Acuna rookies. So that's cool. Maybe I'll end up keeping this one just because I haven't got that one. Uh, Archives, Jim and 10. It's not like it's like a super expensive writing card, but, um, that's cool. I like to look at the card. It's a cool looking set. Heritage. Rookie Performers, 9. Which is a little off... Right to left. We'll take her on the right. I had a good streak there going to 10. Uh, Soto 9, tops living. One thing you got to be careful about, guys, in the set is this top red edge because she will chip. Oh, this one looks clean. Soto. I'm at nine on that one. 
Uh, here's the Soto Throwback Thursday. Nine. I think it's a really cool looking card. I was here hoping for tens on those. <clears throat> Here's a ten. Another throwback Thursday with the green. That's cool. Some thicker card here. Uh, mint nine on this uh, Prime Performers Auto. That's Chris Davis. It's on card. That's pretty cool. Out of uh, 285. Eight. Nolan Gorman. Hmm. That's all rough. 18 Bowman draft. Ten on this uh, Verdugo batting, Bowman Chrome. Actually, a rookie card from last year. You know he has a lot of rookies this year. A refractor. Okay. The shine's kind of throwing me off a little bit sometimes. Uh, Jim and ten on this Aaron Judge Long Ball Legends. My goodness, why did I send this off? Thinking that she came back at 10 just to insert. Uh, it's not numbered or anything or colored. That's no, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> but yeah, glad she came back at 10. Uh, Soto, archives. That's cool. I sent off a bunch of these. I only got, I think I got a bunch of nines. Uh, so this is the, my first 10 in this card, too. Everything's not as easy as it seems. 10 on that one. Uh, Walker Bueller, 10 and 10 on this archives. I already got one of these already. That's cool. He looks really skinny there in the face, but uh, maybe he is skinny in the face. 10 and 10 on this Walker. Um, Miguel Andujar, archives. 10 and 10. Cool set. Very basic setup, but still nice to look at. Devers. Cool picture. See the difference between the new stuff and the older stuff. It's just, you know, age and opportunity to get messed up. Corners pushed, a little service scratch. Uh, there's the uh, Robles. Coming attraction. Jim and 10 on that one. That's cool, too. All right, last full box. Box number five. Mike Jonathan India. Mint nine on this paper. Randy Johnson, that's cool. Top traded. Jim Mint 10. That's nice. I thought she looked real good. The back of that card, man, all black on the edges. That's the one thing that makes this, this set tougher than it seems. Look at that white front, cool. Look at the back. All black. Nice. Here's the Soto. Uh, silver pack from uh, 19. That's cool. Nine. Oosh. So this is the Star Player Highlights, right? But it's the Ruby. And check out this number, 9 of 10. Yeah, I was really hoping for a 10 on that Joker. Looks like that corner may be a little touchy. So I'm at 9 on this Acuna, but that's still a special, super, super short. It was only retail, and it was only 9, and it was only 10 of these made. That's pretty pretty short printed. Uh, Tucker! She meant 10. At least are coming back 10s. <laughs> Look at that smile. A little goofy, but well. I wouldn't put these up there, would I? That's 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 cool. Uh, 
Uh, go back. Maybe this maybe this submission is newer than I think. This is 19 um, stuff. Jim and 10 on the, on the paper rookie for Kopech. Vertical. <laughs> yeah, because that was 19 too. Series 1. Uh, Tops Chrome uh, update. Robles. Cool action shot there. Jim and 10. I'm pretty thick on the Robles in this one. Uh, Glaber. 18 Tops Chrome update. These are pretty easy cards, as long as you don't mess anything up on the surface. Uh, Shohei, International Affair. These don't do all that great in the secondary market, these inserts here. But we'll see. <laughs> There's another one. These are coming back tens, guys. Here's the Soto um, rookie debut. It's been the last of the update I think that I uh, that we pulled and opened up. There's the Cooney update, Jim at ten. It's a cool card. Uh, this was the salute. Man, this is the base one too. I don't know. I, did, I tend to submit most things Roberto Clemente, so Jim at 10. Eighteen update, cool. I don't think I had this one, the paper in a ten. Sorry, someone's making dinner in there. That's not mean, it's rather loud. Eighteen update, Soto. Another Soto, it looks like the Legends. Is the black. Cool. So black, Jim at 10. That's nice. We're numbered, so I don't know I don't know what the, the prints were, the ratio on these two on these, but this was not not an easy pull. Shohei Black 10. Look at that old eye. And there's the white. Oh, I just noticed. Oh, one, wait a minute. So one of these is series one and one of these is an update. And I don't, I can't remember which. They're both rookies, but I think this is series, maybe it's series two. There's the Acuna, just the base one. Jim at 10. Another Acuna. Mint 9 on this base one. All right, well, let's see what didn't grade. This last box here that feels like nothing's in it. Crud. There we go. Um. Oh, everything did grade. All right. Yes, yeah, but say I don't remember seeing any vintage in here, anything weird. I got to kick back. Um, but I guess they can fit one card in the other box, and they put all the paperwork in there. Sorry, everything kind of went everywhere flying. Uh, let's close out with another Soto 10 300 card. All right, guys, that's the break, just under 40 minutes. I think we did okay here, nothing, uh, a couple of head scratchers, um, <laughs> but everything else I think came out pretty decent. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video and respect the hobby. We'll get this posted up and we'll talk to you later. Thanks.